I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will explore that the square has minimum perimeter for given area and I will show you with the help of very simple illustration. Let us consider this square and let me say the size of the square is let's say 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So we are considering a square which is 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter. Now for this square what is the area? All the sides are equal right it's a square area is length into width so area is 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters and that is equals to 100 centimeters square. Now let us also calculate the perimeter of this square. Perimeter of the square is 4 times 10 or you could because all sides are equal so it is 4 times 10 centimeters and that is equals to 40 centimeter right. Now we want to show that this square will have the minimum perimeter for the given area. So for that what will I do here is that I will cut a portion of this square. So let me show you how. So we have this square right this is our 10 by 10 square and I will remove a portion of this square. Uh, let us say I remove uh, a square from this square this portion right and I'll place this portion after cutting it off so I'm removing from here and I'll place it on the other side let us say here so so what happens actually is that this is my square right I will cut this square and place it here do you see that portion right so so what I've done here that I've removed this portion and place it at this place. When I do so, area is same, perfect. Area is still the same. Still we have these four small pieces. Do you see that? Let me divide them into four pieces. So even without calculations, one, two, three, four, all are five by five. Is that okay? So the area is still the same or you can also calculate, no problems. So we form a new square which has the side each is 5 so this becomes this time 5 5 and 5 15 centimeters this height is 5 centimeter and this one is also 5 centimeter is it okay so that becomes the new dimensions now in this particular what is the area area is still same or you could do this you could do 15 times 5 you could do 15 centimeters times 5 centimeter plus this area which is 5 centimeter by 5 centimeter correct and if you add this up you will again get 100 centimeters square perfect this is 25 that is 75 75 plus 25 is 100 but how about the perimeter Perimeter now is one side is 15, let's add plus 5. So, how many 5s? 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 5s, right? So, 7 times 5 centimeters, which is 15 plus 35. So, 15 plus 35 is 50. So, what you see is that for the same area, area is 100, perimeter is larger, right? Therefore, what we notice here is that square has less perimeter. For the same area, do you understand? For the same area area is same right 100 and 100 and the perimeter is much lesser do you get it you could have done in similar fashion if you cut 
another piece from here and spread it out. In that case, you will find since we are cutting off the area from the square and placing it elsewhere, area remains same. However, the perimeter increases. Do you get the idea, right? So, in this exercise, what you learn is that for the same perimeter, maximum area is for the square, and if we retain the area, in that case, the perimeter increases if you change the size, right? If you cut any portion of this square, your perimeter will increase, and if you add that to the structure, area remains same. Okay. So this is a very, very important concept, which I hope you understand from this particular topic. Correct. Thank you and all the best.